<laughs> I didn't mean to snort. <laughs> This is called Long Stroll. I do not own rights to this music. Hi everybody, welcome back to Blue's Plate. We are in the kitchen cooking a keto friendly meal and I have uh, Deadpool, AKA the man of the house. Hubby is in the kitchen with me today. That's, that's your cue to speak, right? Hello everyone. I guess he needs to maybe warm up. Uh, that's I don't, I, don't worry, he'll be cutting up in a minute. Just just give it time, folks. Give it time. <laughs> All right, so we are starting um, our keto friendly meal with some broccoli. Hubby's going to finish cutting that up. I keep saying hubby's gonna finish and then I keep doing it. Okay, I'm moving. All right, hubby's gonna finish chopping up some broccoli. Yay. <laughs> we already have our water boiling. We're just going to boil the broccoli for just a bit because we're going to put it in the oven with seasonings and cheese long enough for the cheese to bubble and melt and brown yes so fun so enjoyable <laughs> the making it part or the eating it part making and eating making and eating yes So, over on 
the pan, we have our cast iron skillet um, with a little bit of EVOO in it. Um, let me know if you watched the grocery shopping video that Hubs and I did earlier. Yep, earlier today, a couple hours ago, but it didn't post till about 5.30ish, 5.45ish. Um, that video is posted that shows you all what we bought. All right. Looks like a lot of this is not going to need to be chopped. Yeah, you know, some of it is just small pieces that I just toss in. All right. So, hubby, you take the cutting board mm -hmm. and discard of it, and I will. Okay. Um, so I'm glad Hubs is home because um, there's gonna be a lot of camera transitioning, lighting transitioning. So I am just going to take this broccoli and put it in our water. And I'm only gonna let it sit in our boiling water long enough to, um, What are we calling when we're putting the stick in here? To uh, sear it. Sear it. So this is going in our pot just long enough. And because this is really hot, I'm going to turn it off. So it's just going to soften up with the heat that's already in there. And then we'll use this again. So we'll do a quick rinse and we'll set that to the side. And we'll put that to the side. All right, so to the star of the show, the steak. Um, on our steaks, what are they again? They are boneless Angus beef chuck steak. All right, there we go. Boneless Angus beef chuck steak. So, these have already been sitting and um, because you don't want your steak to be cold when you put it to your heat. So while this heat is now starting to smoke, I'm gonna move it for a minute. That's what you want your cast iron skillet to do. You want it to get smoky. We're gonna transition over there. But first of all, these have already been seasoned on both sides. I am going to tell you the season, or how do you can tell them, sorry. Uh, nice little combination of seasonings, a little black pepper, little chili powder, some- No salt. Dash, Mrs. Mrs. Dash, no salt. Mm -hmm. Garlic and herb. Little onion powder. And then and a pinch of salt. Very light amount of salt. Yep. So that's already that's already um seasoned on our seasoned. Steak. So I'm going to do this again. So all of those seasonings are mixed in here. So I'm just gonna go over top of these again. Um and we're only going to um sear these one at a time because the skillet is not big enough for me to do both. Okay, so I'm gonna move you guys over. There we are. And we're gonna see if we can transition a little bit of light. All right, so into this it is a little bubbly it's smoky we're gonna add our meat y'all hear that yes that's what we want so each side two to three minutes, right? 
Um, once we flip it over, we're going to start basting. Are you doing hot? I am good. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I could get both in there, babe. You know what? Let's just do the one at a time. Yeah. That way we can be sure that we're getting... Baby, will you keep an eye? Two to three minutes. Let me know so I can flip it. Yeah. Okay. So, we're also putting some rosemary that we bought earlier. I wish you all could smell that. So, we're just going to put that rosemary in there. I'm going to do about... Uh, We'll do a total of four sprigs. All right, you guys see that? Hubby's got the clock. And then we're going to, uh, sorry, we're going to also add a little bit of fresh garlic that's been, um, has a little bit of lemon juice on it just to keep it from browning. Let me say, starting now, I've never done this. I've never done um, a steak this way. Oh my gosh. Do you smell that? Yeah. Woo! Oh my goodness gracious. All right. So it was that you think that's about two minutes? Mm, no, I think we wait another minute. Okay. Hubby says we're going to wait another minute. But we are going to move that thyme around, that rosemary around. Hubby said wait, so we're going to wait. And then I'm actually going to have Hubby um, flip this because I'm a little afraid to. Okay. <laughs> because it's a big piece of meat. And then that's gonna just sit on this pan okay. until we do the other one. Okay. Oh man, that really smells good. It's the rosemary and the garlic. One hand in my pocket while the other one's flipping a steak. <laughs> You just want to use the fork? You know, it's the fact that I'm not trying to scratch up the pan surface. Okay, this is... And this is why I'm not a TV chef. <laughs> All right, so at this point, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, don't, yeah, 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 honey, that's, that's definitely going to do what you were trying not to do. So we're going to add our butter. Now, this is salted butter, but remember, we have very little salt. In we have evening. very little salt in the seasoning. Very little. Um, if you saw the video yesterday, I kind of overdid it um, with the salt. So we're being very careful not to use a lot of salt in this dish. You guys like my hubby's shirt? <laughs> so you know, with cast iron, the, even the handle can get hot. So it almost feels like I don't have enough liquid to, um, all these fresh smells, you guys, oh my goodness. So I guess that's enough liquid to, to base.
And I'm thinking maybe, baby, the heat needs to be higher because it's got a sear, but not a real good sear. What do you think? Mm. I think it's got a decent sear to it. Leave it? Yeah. All right. I'll leave it. Hubby said leave it. So I didn't pay attention to the clock. I'm thinking it's been maybe a minute, you guys. Mm. Been about two to three minutes. Two to three minutes? Yeah. Okay, we're going to leave that on there just another minute. I really want it to have like that crisp crispy sear. So I guess we're going to have to, I know the rule is two to three minutes, but you guys, this smells amazing. So if you watched the video earlier, the gentleman that was also buying rosemary said that he was getting it for his wife who was going to put it in a pot with other things and give the house an aroma. Ooh, I would love to be in that house because I imagine that that would be really good. All right. We're just using that seasoning that we had from earlier. I think I would like it a little bit more, but you say stop. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this over here. And then we're going to add the other one. So I'm adding just a little bit more oil. move those pieces out the way because they're both going back in here and they're going to cook in here. This smells amazing, you guys. All right, I'm turning up the heat a little bit. I'm hitting this side with some more of the seasoning. And then I'll save the remainder for the other side. Again, I've never done this, but I appreciate constructive criticism. So if you are a steak preparer and you say, Blue, you are doing that wrong, let me know in the comment section. All right. Two, three minutes, babe? Yeah. All right. I'm going to do a quick, quick cleanup while Hubby's going to entertain you all. <laughs> um, how's our cabbage doing? Let's pick that up and broccoli. Our broccoli. Let's pick that up and see how that's doing. It's doing good. Smells good. Yeah, we still have color. Yeah. Does it seem like it's tender? Let's stick a fork in it and see. Tell me if you think it's tender. And then we can drain it. Oh, I didn't say to taste it. Okay. That's what we're doing. Mm. Yeah. Tender. Too tender? No. All right. What's the time on our steak? Got another minute to go. Another minute? Yeah. All right. Baby, are you enjoying your day out? Yes. I am. Okay, hubby's paid attention to the steak. I'm going to take our broccoli and drain it. Hubby says it's tender and I trust him. Wow, that cooked down a lot. That's why we got two. we got two. Goodness gracious. Our little feelings would have been hurt. Yeah, mine too. Your feelings, my feelings, everybody's feelings. <laughs> How are we doing? Good. All right. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and flip that over. Yes. We're gonna hit it with some more butter. Let that butter melt down. Oh, this is for the basting. Once that butter gets a little melty, then we're just gonna go ahead and start basting that. Yes! I think this is great for something that neither of us have ever done. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Most of the seasonings just went all over the counter. <laughs> That's all right. Yes, it smells amazing in here. Yes, it does. Baby, you know how you're always saying my wife's a gourmet chef? Mm -hmm. This actually kind of makes me feel like <laughs> like I'm doing something kind of gourmet-ish, but with you. Yeah. And you were all like, I'm out of my comfort zone. I think you're doing just fine handling that meat for me. Uh, I'm going to behave. Huh? No, something you said, I'm going to behave. Well, you don't have to... I know I say behave, but... What, what do I, what was I, today? Come on. What was I telling you to behave about? Oh, no, you weren't telling me to behave. What was you, I saying? You said something and I decided to behave myself and... Well, now, I, I, inquiry minds want to know. No, because there could be kids watching, so I'm going to keep that commentary to myself. Oh, it's that kind of comment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still want to know. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Off camera. <laughs> after dinner. Off camera after dinner. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah. Now, when I turn the camera, you stay over there. Since you can't tell it. Quit grabbing my butt. See? See? That's exactly what I'll be talking about right there. You're my wife. It'd be weird if I was grabbing some other woman's butt. It should. It'd be weird for both of y'all. It'd be strange if I grabbed your butt. Lord have mercy. Baby, how many minutes do you think that's been? Okay. One more minute and it should be good. Okay. So, would you agree that we can add the other one? Yes. Back? Yes. All right, you guys. So, we're going to attempt to add the other one back into the pan. And I think this is going to be a big mistake that adding it because it won't be flat. Well, it's just flat. We just have to pull the side up against the middle. But then it this won't be flat. It won't be flat, but it's still going to cook because the entire pan. Like this? Yeah. And then the other one, like, move it over like that? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna put some of this thyme over there. Rosemary. Sorry, thank you, babe. <laughs> some of the rosemary over there. You keep saying thyme because you were about to get thyme earlier. I was. Let's try rosemary. And then let's see if we can get a little bit more liquid just to base the top of those. And we are going for medium well or well done. So. I was out today and I did not purchase a thermometer. 
I have a candy thermometer, but I am not sure that that will work. Mm -hmm. It said I could, but I'm afraid to use it. All right, you guys. Hubby is going to transfer this to the oven. We're going to turn off our stove. Yep. And here we go. All right, you guys, that is in the oven. Let's do our broccoli bake. Let's transition the camera. All right, so with our broccoli bake, we rinsed and cut our broccoli. And we're just adding that to this bowl, okay? We'll head back over to the stove in a minute. We will do some um, <coughs> onions and mushrooms. In fact, hubby, we're gonna tag team this. Hubby is going to <laughs> cut up the, the mushrooms. The, uh, Yay, I get to play with sharp objects. <laughs> Hubby's gonna cut up the onions. I'm going to make our broccoli bake. To any guys that are watching, if your wife asks you to help in the kitchen, but she will not let you touch the knives, there's probably a trust issue there. And you should work on improving. Or she just doesn't want you to have the sharp objects because she plans to use them on you later because she watches IG On the channel. next video, I have said this for the past few videos, but on the next video, we want the script. <laughs> Why? Two cups of um, my favorite Italian salad dressing, my Olive Garden. Two cups of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you should just cut the onions. <laughs> no salt, Mrs. Dash, for some spice. Chipotle. We gotta add this to the grocery list, Bubba. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a quick mix with this. No salt. We're not adding any salt. We are going to hit it with pepper because I'm gonna look at the clock. We put that steak in about 6.57. Pepper. Onion powder. Give that a mix. How you doing with those? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You can just leave them this way. Okay. You can just leave them um, okay. this way because they're going to shrink and you can just leave them this way because they're going on your steak. Okay. Sorry, babe. I forgot to tell you. Oh, okay. Baby. Mm. Mm. How do you say mmm before it even fully gets in your mouth? It was in my mouth. I could taste the flavors. Okay. Let's transition this to our cast iron skillet. These have already gotten hot because they were in the oven. I also forgot to tell you that the oven is at 375. I feel like maybe I should put it at 400. What do you think? Mm. This is my first time doing an oven in the steak, uh, steak in the oven, you guys. I would have. I don't know. I think 375 should be good. You think so? Yeah. All right. Let's put this in our pan. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I guess that's enough. You think? Yeah. Let's get all of that goodness. And I mean all of it. Babe. Hmm? Yes. Oh, I found it. I just want to get all those liquids. All right. And then, Hub, if you want to go ahead and um, top it with our habanero cheese. Yes. And I'm going to transition these. So I'm just putting some EVOO in a little pan for our onions and our mushrooms. I'm just having fun. Yes. With so cheesy. So cheesy. I say we put the meat in. Six fifty-seven. Okay, we're going to transition these to the oven. If you don't, I, I just feel like you can touch that in the top. Babe, did you want mushrooms or anything in there with that or no? You can do it with mushrooms. And that. You want? Yeah. No, it's up to you, babe. Mm, no, I thought we were going to do one with the onions. We are we are doing the mushrooms with the onions. I just want to know if you wanted any in there with the broccoli. No. Okay. All right. Bake going in the oven. You want me to tag team? Can we do one? I got them. Okay. All right. Going into the oven. Quick cleanup. And then we can chat for a bit. Keeping our eyes on the clock, of course, because I don't know how long. Maybe I should Google it. How long? You can. Or I could just let the the uh, the ancestors. Is that what they say? Mm -hmm. Let the ancestors. Let the ancestors tell me when it's done. Yeah. I don't know if we should listen to the ancestors today, babe. What you think? I don't know who's there. Some people who have already moved on to do my cooking for me. Oh, Lord, babe. I'm a little paranoid. You're a little they, paranoid? Yeah, they might be in a bad mood. <laughs> you get some overcooked food. This fool said they might be in a bad mood. Well... I never quite heard that, babe, but hey, we're, we're gonna go with it. But we don't have a thermometer. I can try the candy thermometer. Okay. If you want me to. If you think it, I should. Mm. No. I say we just make sure we pay attention to timing. All right, you guys, let's get our onions. Hello, train. How you doing, train? And not the music group. The music group? 
You said Hello Train. I said, yeah. Not the music group. There's a music group named Train? Yeah. Dr. Jupiter, a soul sister. Oh, okay. Um, Hubs is going to keep an eye on the clock and he's going to take care of our Adding anything to the onion? Handoff for the fridge. No. Say it again, Dave. I was just asking if you were adding anything to the onions. Am I adding anything to the onions? I could, Dave. I could. How come you decided to work? What do you want, Dave? Oh, no. I, nothing that you particularly you have to add. I didn't know if you were or not. That's I can. All I was asking. garlic okay again no salt well the garlic seasoning is no salt and this is olive oil in here not butter yeah good enough babe mm-hmm not this size Are these doing the um, onions and then here are the mushrooms? Whatever you want, you can add them, babe. So do you think that the steak will take long or do you think that we should just chit chat while the steak is on? Mm -hmm. Or do you think we need to do a part two? Mm -hmm. You can do a part two if you want. What do you think? You think how long do you think the steak should take? Uh, I don't know. I've never cooked steaks in an oven. To my rec best of my recollection, as a kid watching adults cook them in the oven, uh, yeah, I don't remember because I was usually come in, dinner's not done, and then go back outside and play. That that sounds about right. How long, how long to cook, Ugh. what's it called that we did? How long to what's oven What's it called cook? that we did it though? We did it on the stove? Yeah. What's it called? The part we did on the stove, what's it called? Searing. Okay, you don't pan have to do that searing. the whole time with me. How long does it take to pan sear, oh Lord. How, how long does it take to cook pan seared steak in the oven? For medium well or well done. So, you said you had something in your eye, babe? Baby, this is all the uh, mushrooms you wanted? Yeah. Just adding a bit more EVOO. Doing a hand rinse. Okay. David says. Says. Um, so the 
After searing a steak on the stove, how long should you put it in the oven for well done? Twelve to fifteen minutes, and then we put it in at what? What time? Six fifty-seven. Okay. I'm just putting our bait at the top. Nervous about the steak, everybody. Okay, then you want to give them another turn? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Do you want them a more brown, or do you like you stop cooking them when they're good enough for you guys? Because I can eat them, I like them raw anyway, so you cook them to your liking. Fifty-seven. They went at six fifty-seven. Twelve to fourteen minutes, but it didn't say what degree it should be at when you want it. Or it did say the degree and the temperature of the oven. I think they, well, it was the oven. I think they were saying the temperature of the steak itself. You're right. It is. A hundred and sixty, hundred eighty. I mean, and mushrooms are done and ready. Here outside, then we to try to be added to our steak once they're done. We are still playing the new Google information game where you ask Google a question and you hope that it's going to give you an answer. I'm going to so I'm going to let's stick with the 12 to 14 minutes which means it's been in there now 18 minutes mm -hmm. Because it's 14 after, and you said we put it in at 677. So it's been a little over 10 minutes. No, it's 14 after, and we put it in the oven at 657. So that's 14, and then the 657. 657, 707, 10 minutes. minutes don't judge me I was thinking 57 58 59 so 14 15 16 right babe, babe yes 714 that's 14 minutes right Yes? Baby, just you, go with me. 714. From yeah. 7 to 714 is 14 minutes, right? Yes. Yeah. From 657 to 7 mm -hmm. is what? How many minutes is that? From 657 to 7 o'clock. That's only three minutes. So 14 plus 3 is what? It hasn't been in there 17 minutes. 657. To 707 is 10 minutes. I get that. Then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 17 minutes. You don't count the 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, go ahead. Go ahead, because I know I'm not good with numbers, but what you just said did not make any sense to my brain. From 6.57 to 7 is three minutes, correct? Yes. From 7 to 7.14 plus the three minutes is... Four, what's 14 plus 3? 17. So then how has it not been in there 17 minutes? <laughs> Even 6.57 to 7.07, babe, is what? 10 minutes, right? 7.07, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 17 minutes. Okay. Now you telling me okay like I'm really not getting it. So let's, let's talk about this. Hubby is great with numbers. Blue is not. Not ashamed, been that way forever. Now he's saying it's been 20. Hey, doing a video. What's up? Oh, I got three of these batteries. Didn't I just say we doing a video? <laughs> that, that usually means back up out the door because we're doing a video. Not over here. Not in, not. Sir, how you doing? <laughs> Your video win happening. Huh? Here. The smartness of people. Okay, so since we are, look, we just gonna take it out. There's our bake. I'm just gonna let it get a little bit more brown. No, my video's not in there, but smartness. There's our steaks. I'm putting the broccoli bake back in just to get a little bit more brown. <laughs> My husband said, now it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> we do this all the time with numbers. But I just, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I love you. I see you finna go for that drip, drip, drip. If the landlord would just come fix the. These look beautiful. They look beautiful. What do you think? They look delicious. I know you're supposed to like the state rest. I know that. For anybody that's gonna be in the comment section. <laughs> well, if you leave them in there for 20 minutes, you can't go wrong with that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to transfer these so that they can rest. Yeah. Thank you, babe. some of these juices on top. Okay. Hot. Ooh! That stuff is hot. We're gonna let these sit. 
probably not for the whole time because now that it's done, it looks good enough to just eat. We're going to transition this. Oh, sorry. How, are you guys like that? Are you guys able to just eat something like that piece of meat I just took out? I didn't know if it was fat or meat. And he just gobbled it. Like, I, my mouth would be on fire. It was delicious. So, so far, so good? Yes. All right. A few more minutes. Baby, done or no? Done. Good enough? Yeah. All right, you guys. We are going to transition again. We are first going to, I, I see you trying to get around me to this meat hubs. I see you. I see that slick move you trying to get around me to the meat. I see you. I don't understand what you're talking about. I saw you out of my peripheral. I saw you trying to get to that meat. I saw you. Here's, I don't know what's wrong with my wife. She keeps. Okay, go ahead and tell. Go. She keeps what? Go ahead and tell the story. She accused me of nefarious behavior, mischievous malfeasance. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's his name? What's what's the dude's name? Uh, that we, you're always using the big words. It is 5,679.36 degrees in here right now. No, she okay. just doesn't like you that much. All right. There's our bake. Thank you, babe, for turning off the oven. I forgot. No problem. There's our bake. Babe, will you do that to the corner? Move that to the table. Mm -hmm. There's our other bake. Just putting these back on just to get them hot, babe. The onions? Okay. Baby, are you having steak sauce? Coke Zero. Okay, let's plate up our meat. Hubby, which one? This one's yours, right, babe? Yes. I didn't know if you switched them. 
Yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to stay on with you all long enough to um, taste the food. Take this off. No, that's fine. More or less. Mm, that's good enough. You sure? Because I'm not eating all of it. A little bit more. That's good. Yeah. All right, babe. Do a thumbnail. Do what? A thumbnail. So it's just where you're gonna like hold it up, and then when I go back, I can take it as a picture. The deliciousness. There we go. Um, we might have to do it a different one because I forgot to do. How about we say grace right now? Father, we come to be giving glory and honor. We thank you for this food that we're about to partake. That is Jesus. blessed and nourishing and our Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. transition hubby hmm? you don't wait for me you go ahead and eat i appreciate it but you go ahead and start you go ahead and start enjoying actually production is supposed to uh be helping with the camera and stuff Can you tell them what it tastes like? <laughs> like I said, with the small sample piece I had earlier, it is delicious. Well cooked, just not undercooked. I prefer my steak well done, which this is. I don't like it rare or medium rare. Yes, I'm a carnivore, but I'm not like, you know, the one of those people, I still want it moving. I still want to see a little blood. No. Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, you need a script. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry, you guys, for all the... you guys well done I was about to do that I hate when people do that I just like when people do that
cheesy. Broccoli. Oh. That is good steak. It's flavor. Mm. Flavorful. I'm on you right now. I'm talking, but I'm on you. Mm. <laughs> Broccoli and cheese. Nicely seasoned, not overcooked. Still has a bit of a crunch to it. What's the spice level? Too spicy, not spicy enough. Just right. Just right for you? Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to finish, but what will you give this meal on a scale of 1 to 10? I have to stop at 10. Honey, I'm ready to eat. Can you... <laughs> A 10? Mm-hmm. You sure now? Because I, I know you're agitated with me because I'm rushing you, but I just I just want to finish eating too. Yes, a 10. It is delicious. My wife, as always, has outdone herself. Thank you, sweetie. She's always accusing me of saying stuff just because I'm her husband. You know, last night I told her it was a bit soft. You did tell me last night it was salty, and you were right. And I was thankful. I I was glad that you did that, because I I honestly. He was right. It was actually very salty. So I guess I'm wrong. You do tell. You do tell me. You do tell me. Um. You do tell me. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna start believing you. Thank you for proving proving that point. Okay. You guys, the steak is really good. It's not salty because, again, all we used was a pinch of salt and then the no-salt butter. It's done all the way. Salty butter. What did I say? No salt. <laughs> this is why sometimes you have a spouse that has your back. No salt. No Salted butter and then a pinch of salt was all we used. Mmm. The rosemary. Mmm. Sucking those juices off, really good. Broccoli bake. Broccoli is delicious. Let me see if I can do this. All right. I'll try this and then we're gonna get off and enjoy the rest of our food. That was that piece was gonna be too hot to eat. If you fast forward it to the end and didn't watch the whole video where I actually cooked this, um, I boiled the water before we started the video. Excuse me, I am shining. Cause it's a million degrees in here. I boiled the um water and then once we started the video i added the broccoli turning the water off just letting the heat excuse me that was already there um drained it tossed it with italian seasoning and spices and covered it hubby covered it with habanero cheese How do you like it? Mm. It's so good. It's so hot. <laughs> that spice. That habanero cheese mm -hmm. is kicking up that spice. So I'll talk a little bit about my cast iron, cast iron skillets with the holders. 
Um, they might forget. We picked these up from Ollie's. Sorry. We picked these up from Ollie's about a year and a half ago. Ollie's. Ollie's. Good stuff. That's not how the commercial goes. I guess I won't be doing any Ollie sponsors, sponsorships. Mm, they might not care. <laughs> as long as they got a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Ollie's, you guys. I think we next time we'll buy um, more vegetables. So this was this is supposed to be considered a keto friendly meal. The cheese, the broccoli. Um, I was gonna add carrots, but carrots are a little bit high in starch. So really wouldn't be keto again according to my um nutritionist. According to my research on keto. I also in this moment want to shout out Hudat. This meal actually was inspired by Hudat. She's a subscriber and friend. So shout out to Hudat that said somebody could have a steak. Thank you, Hudat. Mm-hmm. No more ideas from you, Miss Missy, Miss Thing. I'm kidding. So shout out to Hunat for the idea to have like a steak and vegetable to do a keto friendly meal. So that's that. Mmm. That Italian dressing. You guys. So yeah, you guys, um, I will not continue doing like keto a lot. Um, excuse me. I am still working on um, meeting my, me my next weight goal. My next weight goal by March. Um, so... I will not be um, doing a whole lot of meat, but I will, however, do more keto for hubby. Um, I think that he would be more happy with keto, which includes meat versus me trying to get him to do vegan vegetarian. I guess I can let, person? I guess I can let you um, answer that. No, first let's answer the other question. Why are you cursing? Why are you saying those vulgar words? Which vulgar word did I say? Vegan. Oh, Dios mio. Babe, would you rather be vegan, vegetarian, or... So you keep saying those vulgar words to me. Lord have mercy. Let me at me in like this video. <laughs> Will you stop swearing at me like that? You are not coming on any more videos with me until I give you a script. I'm about to be a writer. <laughs> for real, for real. I'm already a writer, but I'm going to be a writer for real, for real, because you need a script. You just can't stick to the... Lord have mercy. Keto sounds like it'll be okay. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. With an occasional curse word and another occasional curse word thrown in. I didn't say the word. Yeah, spies watching, you know, people being cruel and threatening to me. And then, girl, let me tell you something. Okay, let me get off the video first. <laughs> you guys, great meal. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, sorry. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. The meal is wonderful. We're going to get off now and, <laughs> and have a conversation. about be some furniture moving up in here. <laughs> Why don't we rearrange the furniture this latest? Time to just sit and enjoy a meal and maybe watch a show. <sighs> and not say threatening and hurt things to one another. I appreciate you all, but Blue's gonna get over, get 
off of here and go handle some business <laughs> right quick with a certain individual. But thank you for the video. I'm sorry, you're in the video with me. Should I just, do you just want to eat on the video? Keep it going or cut it off? Take care, everyone. Um, the king of the castle has spoken. Please remember, if you haven't seen the grocery shopping video, go check it out. If you are interested in positive motivation, aspir aspirations. Let me some aspirations, all right. Positive motivations. Affirmations. Positive affirmations, motivations, inspirations, edification. Go check out Blue's Journey at Just Blue 360. Mm -hmm. um, and subscribe over there if you like the content after watching a couple of videos. Also here, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Everyone that has subscribed from the other channel, thank you. I appreciate you. Huda, again, for the idea of the keto-friendly meal. Thank you. Put in the comment sections what I could do better. What would you all do? What would you all not do? This is not a channel where I'm like, get off my page because you disagree with me. This is a channel like the other channel where everyone is welcomed. So please um, comment, share, 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 like, subscribe, keep sharing. I reply to all comments and we will see you all on the next video. And we thank you for watching. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, you guys. Eat well, be well. Bye.